Tell us what you think about our last big question, too. Should humanists have equal rights to religions? If you'd like to be in an audience at a future show, you can email audiencetbq at menton.tv. We're going to be in Salford on the 25th of January, Glasgow on the 1st of February, and Southampton on the 8th. Well, just before Christmas, the government quietly dropped the idea of allowing humanists to legally conduct weddings, uh, despite its review finding that a majority of people were in favour of the idea. In Scotland, since uh, humanist weddings were made legal, they've proved extremely popular. Now more people are choosing marriage over just living together. Great success. Well, now the British Humanist Association is lobbying for humanism to be on the exam syllabus for GCSE, uh, AS and A-levels in religious studies. Should humanists have equal rights to religions? Well, from Discuss Jesus, Tewo, yep. from whom we heard earlier on, yep. we were discussing this just yes, before the programme and mm -hmm. talking about, for example, humanist weddings, and you were saying you thought they were demonic. I do, yeah, I think... Um, <laughs> I do think they're entirely demonic. Um, see, my... It all goes back to... It all goes back to the origins of humanism. Um, humanism is the cancer of Thanksgiving. <laughs> it is the devil's PR. It is a first-class ticket to the sea of wantonness and debauchery. Of every, of every form. I'm glad we talk about The reason, no, <laughs> the, no. The reason, well, listen, there's a great thing about this program. I'm glad because I'm, I hope people uh, are appreciate that we try and give a range of opinions. <laughs> and, yeah, listen, no, tell me, no, you no, have no, there, are, no, there are plenty of people who agree with you, are there? I'm sure. I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, okay, there, right. there are a number of well, free speech. I'm, I like to, I like to think that freedom of speech. <laughs> Here, See, the, the issue with humanism is that it tries to knock God off the throne. And, it's, and when we look at the Bible, the Bible talks about Lucifer, whose name is the devil. Um, and his attempt was to ascend to the Most High and sit on, the, on both sides of the north and basically replace God. And, this is and it's the same spirit, it's the same subverts mindset. Subverts God, right. Exactly. In Scotland, it has, in, it, it has uh, bolstered. The institution of marriage. You've had, you, you probably won't like this, but there've been pagan weddings. I know, you, of course, you won't like it. Uh, I mean, it's there've just been, the there've been white the eagle lodge weddings, which is a new age philosophy. There've been spiritualist weddings, people who talk to the other side and and back. So, see, I don't think this is good for society because God instituted marriage. God, based on the word of God, based on the word of God, He brought Adam and Eve together. And so the very historical book which has stood the test of time is mm. the very guideline we ought to follow. And I think humanism is a first-class ticket to um, the very hyper-sexualised culture that we're seeing. Right. Uh, Andrew Copson, what is... What is <laughs> before we cast you out <laughs> into all your works, <laughs> uh, what is... Oh, I'm serious. Uh, what is humanism? Um... Well, if you're going to go to wantonness and debauchery, I suppose you might as well travel first class. And I think, <laughs> I think that, that humanism is, in a genuine sense, more of a first class worldview than has been depicted. Humanism is the non religious worldview that instead of looking to revelation or authority, we look to reason and evidence to understand the universe. Instead of looking to moral rules that come from outside human beings, we look to other human beings to generate values in the here and now and also to generate meaning in our life. Instead of looking externally for some meaning to give value and sanction to the existence that we're having, a humanist view is that men and women in the course of our lives create and sustain meaning together by giving our lives purpose and a sense of fulfilment. Now I think that that is a, a very satisfying worldview, a worldview that has made a massive contribution to human uh, progress and achievement. It's a worldview that is held by a very large number of people in Britain, over a third in opinion polls, by many people. Do you think a lot of those people would not call themselves yeah, humanists? They don't know they're humanists. That's right. I think that's a very interesting point of view. I mean, uh, about 40% of people in Britain share those attitudes and beliefs and values, but no only way, about 5% of people call themselves humanists, which no. is about the same number sorry. as... Hold on no, a minute. Sorry, just, I disagree. I don't... Well, I don't you I can't don't, disagree don't, with a survey. Sorry. A result of a survey is a result. <laughs> so why don't, don't you just... No, sorry, you don't I'm get sorry, to choose sorry, whether that fact is true or not. That's and that view, amazing. which has made that powerful contribution to human uh, well-being, and motivates, has, for example, me to sit here politely listening to being called wanton and debauched rather than trying to interrupt other people... You've had your moments, I'm sure. ..is... You know, and not on a Sunday morning. Um, is 
you know, is worthy of respect. Now, when it comes to areas of our public common life, like what we learn about in schools, it is right that we should learn about religions and respect other people's points of view, um, as I would always do and you would not. But um, if we're learning about that, we should also be learning about humanist views. That's my opinion. And as you say, in Scotland, humanist weddings have been massively popular. Last year, they overtook Pol the Catholic... Catholic Maldi Did zone. you just say Pol Pot? Yeah, Pol Pot. <laughs> 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 yeah. Do you want to go through a list of Christians who've killed millions as well? Or are you just going to put up one? Okay, let's, can you name let's, 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 I want to move, I want to move, I want to move from the Khmer Rouge to the Reverend Rouge. Uh, from the Khmer Rouge to the Reverend Rouge. <laughs>